guys, I'm back with a Dharma video for you guys today. This one I'm very excited for. So I've seen this on my feed and like ever since I saw the title, I was like, bro, I need to watch this. Like Bookside High episode one, I was like, ooh. And then the thumbnail is interesting, the title is interesting, and damn. So the title was something different before. It's called Bookside High episode one, School Bully Paralyzes Student. Welcome back to David Nax, by the way. The title didn't used to be that. The thumbnail used to be, okay, yeah, the school bully paralyzes a student, but it was named something else before. When it came out, it was not named that. It was named something else. If you guys stand by for one second, I'll figure out what the title was. It was called Bullies Shame Poor Kid for His Disability. That, that, that's what it was called before. So I got the proof right here, too. Starting. Let me close Facebook real quick. We don't need that open. Uh, right here. Bully shame poor kid for his disability. Now it's school bully paralyzes student. School bully paralyzes student. So, yeah. If you guys haven't noticed, I have watched everything so far. I have not watched this one yet. I skipped this one basically, but I will, I will get to it. I just this one seems more intriguing. Hundred percent more more intriguing. That one I have like no interest no interest in watching. I still will of course because I run to every single hour video, but I don't have any interest in watching that one. Maybe it is a good one. I don't know, but it doesn't seem interesting to me. So whatever. I'm gonna give that a like. Okay, we are ready to start this. So, 24 minutes and 38 seconds. The thumbnails I've seen for this video, and like people are kind of like, ooh, and like, you know, just shocked. So, I'm. Again, it's called School Bully Paralyzes Student, so it's pretty intense. It seems pretty intense. And plus, it just it, just it being called Bookside High Episode 1, I feel like there's gonna be some drama and like drug activity, or I feel like some shit's gonna go down. And I'm pretty sure Devin was in the thumbnail, and he looked pretty pissed off. So, I think he's the bully. Because sometimes he's the good guy, or the. library right down the street. Extended hours. That's nice, right? Do they just move here or something, or what's going on? Look, I know this isn't as big as our other place, but that just means that it's nice and cozy, right? can call a dump like this cozy. Damn. The area definitely doesn't look good. Like, a, like, a, like, li like literally as you arrive, a police car goes by with lights on. Like, that's not a good look. It's already not a good start, but... It does look like a really sus area, too, so that doesn't look like a good, a good area. A wheelchair? Is Devin paralyzed? So he's not the bully? Bro, Devin's always the bully. Plus, I'm pretty sure I saw him in the thumbnail all pissed off. Maybe that was... I don't know. But, I, yeah, earlier in the video, I was going to say he usually plays the bad guy, but sometimes he's a good guy, too. It seems like he's he's the paralyzed student, so I guess he was already paralyzed. That, that must be so hard, bro. I can't even imagine. I got it. That must be so hard, man. So young too. Oh, hello there. Are you guys just moving in? Yeah, I'm Naomi, and this is my son Khalil. Well, welcome Khalil. to the building. Uh, I'm Pastor Paul. If you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm just uh, away. <laughs> God You're bless. so funny, bro. You're so funny. He was really nice. Mm, Not like our old neighbors. <laughs> you please just unlock the door. It's so sweet, Harry. How you like in the new place? Like, like is a strong word. Place is a dump. Can't be that bad. Yeah, maybe not to the homeless people camping outside the building. If it wasn't for me, we'd still be in our house across town. My mom's trying to be all positive and stuff, which only makes things worse. But she's miserable, too. Don't think like that, man. Your mom loves you. Yeah. Sure, she doesn't love pain. Either he's tall as hell, or obviously he's sitting on the wheelchair, but he, yeah, he looks tall as hell. Like, you know what I mean? Doesn't he look tall as hell? My medical bills, though. Enough about me. 
Can't believe you guys made it to States. You must be stoked. Oh, uh... No, I actually don't think I'll be able to go. What? Why not? Uh, Coach said we all need a pair on... I'm pretty sure he's like 25 years old, so I don't know what the hell he's doing in high school, but sure. Boy, and, uh... My boss just lost his job. So we don't have any money to fly me out. <laughs> my parents didn't even have any money to buy me a new pair of cleats for football this year. <laughs> so I've been hey, come on! I'm wide open! Whoa. Hey, hey, watch it! Oh, hey! Yo, my bad, man! Did I mess up your sneaks? Oh, I mean... <laughs> Oh, he's never the bully, bro. It's so weird. This guy's always the fucking asshole. Who, who, who's this bitch? It's back in the place. The hell? Who is this guy new? I know this guy. He's usually always nice, and he's a douchebag all the time. Oh, look. Junior Goons got anything better to do, Dom? Damn. Uh, did you guys hear something? I thought I heard something for a second. Just get lost. Oh, 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 oh. Just because you've got daddy's money doesn't mean you're better than anybody. Damn. Hey, oh man, you scared us. I didn't even see you down there. Yeah, me neither. Nice ride, man. Is that four-wheel drive? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, maybe even a backup camera? These guys are so mean. It's not funny, guys. Get out of here with that crap. You know what's funny is that Khalil here thought that he could actually go pro one day. Looks like he learned his lesson the hard way. I swear if I had my legs, I'd even... Oh, oh, damn, huh? damn. Russ, what? Calm down, bro. Bro, he's about to punch with the face. You better back the fuck off, bro. Hey, hey, remember how you got on this chair? Hmm? Did he hit him? Oh, uh, by the way, I told Coach that kid was too scrawny to be on the team, anyways, so. Bro, get your punch in the face. Better look next time, buddy. Oh. oh, oh, my bad, man. Did I mess up your sneaks? <laughs> wasn't a big deal. Come on, man. Oh, fuck out of here. Are you serious right now? Fuck out of here. That was so obvious. Did you just purposely run over Dominic's foot? Yeah, because he's a cunt. No, Dominic. I know you're going through a lot, but you can't take it out on other people. Seriously. Thanks. So it looks like that kid in the middle was the one that put him in the... that paralyzed him, which is fucked up, bro. Like, how do you paralyze... oh my god. Oh my gosh! I can't believe it took you this long to come home! I told you that I could have picked you up! I can take care up. of myself. I don't need you to baby me, Bob. Damn. You're right. I'm sorry. I do like that he's independent still, because it's not it's not easy. Like, oh, like sometimes you do need help. Could you do me a favor? We're out of salt. Could you ask Paul if we could borrow some? No, no, not doing that. Please. I made your favorite sausage tortellini, but it needs some salt. It'll take too long for me to go to the store. Would you please just do this for me? I mean, you can go please. while he watches the food or something. They're watching a guy bullied outside or something in his house, and then... some kids I used to work with over at the church. Used to? Landlord just kept raising the rent. I couldn't keep up and uh, eventually I lost the church. Do you like football? It's 
supposed to get a full ride. Maybe even go pro. That was a dream, at least, but it's all gone now. I'm really sorry to hear that. But you know what they say, when one door closes, another opens. Sometimes the most painful moments in life are actually blessings in disguise. Right, because my career being killed overnight and my legs not working were really just some kind of blessing in disguise. How are you so positive? Man. I know that um, Napey Fleming did a reaction to this and then he put blessing in disguise. I didn't watch the video, obviously, but I saw the thumbnail because obviously I can see if, if he posts and stuff, so I got the notification. And then I saw it said Blessing in Disguise, and I was kind of like, hmm, now I see this Blessing in Disguise. So, obviously it'll be Blessing in Disguise, but how? Like, is this actually going to be a Blessing in Disguise probably in real life? Probably wouldn't be. But, I don't know, man. Being in a wheelchair just seems so fucking difficult, you know? Like, being in a wheelchair for, like, the rest of your life, I just can't even imagine, bro. Like, you can't walk. Like, I can't stand. Like, I literally have to wheel myself over to the door. Like... I just can't imagine that, bro. Holy crap, I feel so bad anyone in a wheelchair. Anybody with, like, crutches and shit, that's, that's, that's hard. Obviously, usually crutches don't last forever, but... Fuck. Wheelchair, man, that's fucking crazy. I mean, you lost your church. That isn't on you? <laughs> I may have lost my church, but that didn't keep me from helping people and working with kids. Did you ever try to play any other sports since? You kidding, right? In case it's not obvious, sports are kind of out the window for me. Oh, but that's not true. There's so many other things that you could still do. I know there are like para like Paralympics or something. I know there's like Olympics, there's Paralympics, and then I see people with like wheelchairs playing all kinds of sports. Like you can still be active, you can still do stuff. It's not the same, but like you, at least you can still do it, right? Like archery, wheelchair basketball. Chess. Do you know how to play? Chess is yeah, a sport. Yeah, that's a real sport. It actually is. I don't consider that a sport. You that's not a check sport. It out. That's not a sport. There's a lot of strategy involved as you move across the board. Yes, but that's not really a sport, in my opinion. That, no, that's, that's not a sport. I'm looking this up. This is not a debate I'm having, but I'm going to look, look this up right now. It's just... A, even if it says it's a sport, I'm not believing that. Yes, chess is recognized by the IOC as a sport. It's not a sport. Just saying. It's not a sport. Kind of like football. Chess is not like football. Maybe it is. I guess you have to have strategy, yes, but it's not a sport. A mental sport? I mean, sure, but not really a physical sport. At most, a mental sport. Okay, I don't know why, but I thought he was, he was giving him drugs for a second. I, I know that he's coming in by the body of salt, but like, you know how Darman always like anything in a plastic white bag with white stuff inside? With like a white powder on the drugs. <laughs> I'm so bad, bro. Thanks. That took a while for you to get that salt, my dude. Like, how did that, how did that take you so long? And when you give your mom the salt, why don't you give her a little sugar as well? Uh, figuratively. I know you're going through a lot, but remember, it's hard on her too. That's true. Anything fall out. Gonna eat this in my room. Oh, come on, Khalil. You always used to have dinner with me. Yeah, and I also used to be able to use my legs. Damn. Some things change. Wow. Oh. If you want, you can pick me up from school tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good, honey. That is so hard to go through. Like, I just can't imagine. Wait, how did he get paralyzed? Like, what did they do to him? You sure you don't need anything else before I go back to work? 
I'm working a double tonight, so I'll be home late. Be fine. Yeah. She's probably working double for you, oh. so. Why don't you go to the library? Maybe they have a computer you can use. Oh, don't forget I can't pick you up tomorrow. I have to work and I will let you use the car, but until we get it adjusted, I... I'll figure it out. Yeah, he's still being kind of an asshole. Hey, watch it! Sorry, I didn't realize... I'm so sorry about that. Gavin's still getting used to his cane. It's no problem. Did this, uh, happen recently? Uh, well, uh, your well business. Yeah, the school thought it would be a good idea to whale a ball at his face. They gave him a cataract, and we're trying to come up with the money for surgery to remove it, since insurance doesn't cover it, but of course. the procedure is expensive, to say the least. Hey, uh, Gavin? Believe me when I say that I can relate to you in more ways than you think. I'm Khalil, by the way. Hey, Khalil. Sorry again for bumping into you. It's all good. I live nearby, so uh, hopefully we bump into each other again. Come on. Yeah, I see people using the um, the stick. The uh, I don't know what it's hey. called, but I'm just gonna call it a stick. See, so you're in the chess. Uh, we're actually going to be hosting a big chess tournament here next month. In case you're interested in signing up, there's going to be a pretty sweet grand prize. What's the grand prize, bitch? Tell me. Hey, so have you talked to Coach about the situation with State? No, not yet. But honestly, I don't even know if I want to go. He is tall, man. And He's tall, so. Uh, and I don't hey, want to be stuck with... Oh, uh, are you both riding home on Khalil's wheelchair? Be quiet, Dom. You know, it's really sweet of you to give Miguel here a ride, just because I'm not sure his shoes can handle the walk home now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, wait till they get in the fucking wheelchair. Oh my god. Don't get tired of running your mouth. At least they can run. Thanks. <laughs> that was real. Yeah. Is he gonna beat him up? Is he gonna beat him up? I really hope, hope he beats his ass right now. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, of course, the fucking... Why does she always come out of nowhere, bro? Go away. Go to your job and teach or something, bro. Get out of here. Oh my god. I was hoping he would just, like... It, it looked like he was about to get out, out of his wheelchair and just knock his teeth in or something, which I was hoping that would happen. Of course, this bitch comes out of nowhere like, Get out of here, bro. Why are you watching this stuff? Are, are you, like, stalking me? Well, I must say, the faculty here is really impressed with all the work you've been doing with the after-school program. I'm delighted to hear that. The kids have been a joy to work with. Right this way. Um... Well, well, the principal better un understand. Like, if he doesn't tell her what the fuck happened, like that was justified, one hundred percent justified, bro. Like he, like he should have gotten his teeth knocked in for that, not a broken car window. Like, be glad you got a got a broken car window. That that's nothing, bro. your mother on the phone and she's not able to join us for the meeting however she is very very concerned about your behavior and the boy's behavior as am i and the boy's behavior what do you have to say for yourself young man you threw a rock at dominic's car i wonder why what on earth would make you do such a thing explain yourself man this is your time explain Considering the incident in the hallway, and now this, I have grounds to suspend you. Whatever. 
All right, if that's the case, then yes. Pastor Paul, I'm in the middle of a meeting right now. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. I'm Khalil's neighbor, and I know he's going through a lot. Please give him another chance. Please, I can work with him on my own time after school to mentor him. Please. Considering your track record with the other students, I... No, no, I don't want to say yes, or you'll get suspended. Just imagine how your mom will feel. I know you care about her. Bro, why aren't they telling their fucking like principal, bro? Tell the fucking principal, get them in trouble. Like, bro, those comments that they made are those are grounds for me to knock you in the teeth. Like, that's grounds as well. I appreciate you giving me the chance to work with you. I don't I don't think I'll be happy unless this guy knocks them in the in the, in the teeth. All three of them. They all gotta get knocked in the teeth. They, they, you know, there's nothing else. Or you paralyze them, which I'm not gonna say is right to do. It's not right to do, it's not. But they're obviously not gonna understand how it is until they're paralyzed. So, just saying. I really had a choice. Well, let's just jump right in then. Most of your frustrations... Why is he always like the therapist? Like, he's a, he's, he's, he's a pastor now, he was a therapist before, now he's acting like a therapist. Understandably so. Stem from your injury. I think I remember you saying it's from football. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about what happened? Death. How are you gonna explain that? Oh, oh, with death. Oh yeah, they're not suffering anymore. That's not. That's no. That's not no. Like that church example that I told you about before. All right. And tell me how losing our house and moving into this busted building is secretly a blessing in disguise. Well, I met you as my neighbor, and I got you out of getting suspended. I'd say that's a blessing. You being injured will likely make you more sympathetic to others with disabilities that are going through a tough time. That is true. You may be even able to coach them. Yeah, like, and like I said before, there's no reason why you can't find other things that you're good at or more passionate about than football. Did you look into chess? A little bit. But, um... I don't even have a chessboard to practice with. Or a computer. I'm too broke. I just see some like bad things happen to, to the boys, man. Like, I can't just not see that. Kalia! Dinner's ready! Just leave it 
outside. Let me tell you a story When I was young I had dreams of glory All these mistakes Seem to come like a flood Until my days My days They were done But I don't want I wonder if this is like a new friend that he just made at the school or if like he knew him from before or something. I swear to God. If we see no karma happen to the boys, I'm gonna flip the fuck out, bro. I'm gonna flip. Is the chess tournament not for people just in the high school? Why is there like a parent here? Cause he's like 45 bro, what the fuck? Who's, who's this guy? Who is this guy? Who's this girl? Like, what the fuck? I, I thought it was like students only, high school students only, the fuck is this? I'm lost. <laughs> She's like, the fuck? <laughs> I lost. He's beating everybody. Yeah, I'm <laughs> He's like, fuck you. He's an I want to shake your hand. Where's the karma coming to the bullies, man? Fuck. I'm so pissed off, man. This is bullshit. Wait, 30,000? What? How much? $30,000? Sheesh. Nice smile on his face. Mind if I sit with you? <laughs> Not at all. I'd be honored to sit with the world's newest chess champion in the county. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. So, it seems that you found something new that you are really good at and that you enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I actually love chess, like, even more than football. I never would have known that had I not gotten injured. I guess it's true what they say. When one door closes, another opens. Sometimes life's most painful moments are actually blessings. I mean, this guy's... Well, listen to you, Mr. Positivity. All right, All right whatever. <laughs> so, have you thought about what you're going to do with the prize money? Like, maybe buy yourself a car that you can drive. Actually, I have something else in mind. He's gonna pay for that bully, or not the bully, fuck. He's gonna pay for that kid's, um, uh, he's gonna pay for that kid's, um, what the fuck's it called? The surgery? The eye surgery? Oh, hey, sir, before you go, got something for you. What is this? Can't say. 
Go get that surgery, Khalil. Bro, the bullies, man. That's great that all this fucking happy shit's happened. What about the bull? I hate Darman, man. Wait, size 14? Is that a size 14? Jeez. Those are huge shoes. The bullies. Fuck. Like, this is great now, but why can't it be 25 or 26? There's nothing going to happen with the bullies. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. I'm going to comment on this video something I'm not ha happy about. I'm sorry, I hate Darman now. It's totally fucking bummed me out. I'm fucking piss now, bro. That's, that's ridiculous. Like, we literally saw nothing. And not even a tiny bit of karma, nothing. Not even an injury, not even a broken nose, or I don't know, something. Nothing. Comments. I'm leaving a nasty comment on this video. Not not nasty, but I'm gonna leave a comment on this video. And I guarantee you, Nate Nate P flying as well. He, he's gonna say, "Where the fuck's the camera for the bullies? The fuck, are, man?" So now for yourself and others. Plus, school bully paralyzes student. That has nothing to do with the video. Like, yes, he's living as he's already paralyzed. Like it already happened. You can't say, you can't title the video that he's gonna paralyze the student when he already did when he already did it, bro. Ugh, darn man. Yeah, if if the bullies were the ones who actually caused his injury, they need to be prosecuted for assault. It's nice that he got back got back on track. There's no justice if those boys actually put him in that situation. Exactly. The fuck. Exactly. Fucking darn man. You know what? I'll leave it. I'll leave the comment right now. Type, uh, that's how fucking angry I am. How's that? What the fuck? There is where's the karma for the bullies? I'm furious. They should have they should have shown them getting suspended, expelled, or I don't know, beat up. Something. Come on, Darman. I'm actually pissed. I'm I'm not happy. The fact that adults show up always after clear there's something wrong, but not with the bullies. Exactly, I was fucking pissed. Like this fucking biatch comes up. God hell, like bitch, what where the fuck were you thirty seconds ago? Fucking Yeah, don't just yeah, exactly. Like, it looked like she was there watching the whole time, just sitting there. Khalil, like, why just say any, anything to them? Ugh, I'm so fucking angry now. Young Wesley Virgin, who is now a billionaire. That is a bully that's a psychopath. I, I just see the bully right away.
Cool. Thought it would be a good idea to whale a ball out his face. Yeah, so like, bro, I don't know why, like, fuck. Drama does not know how to do videos no more. Both riding home on Clue's wheelchair? Be quiet, dog. Yeah, I was gonna say, look, how, look at the difference here. Like, he's tall as fuck. Well, I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess he does have a size 14 shoe. Typically, when you are taller, you have bigger feet, so I guess that makes sense. But, but still, yeah, like size, like how, like how tall is he if, he if he were stuck in size fourteen? Fuck. Part two, we do need a part two. There better be a be a part part two. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just comment. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Fucking pissed off, but you know, whatever. <sighs> pissed off and not impressed, but is what it is, I guess. If there's a part two where where it shows, well, I guess there's gonna gonna be a part two because it's okay. You know what? I forgot. It's books that I have episode one, so maybe in the second episode there'll be some karma, but there still should have been karma in this video. So just saying. But let's see how many episodes. I know. I think episode. Uh, hold on. 3-8 and 3-15 Fridays. So, I guess there's three episodes. 3-8, March 3rd. Sorry, March. today's March 3rd, March 8th. So, it comes out Friday. So, yeah, it came out Friday. The 1st, the 8th, and the 15th. So, hopefully we'll see some karma at some point. And then we have Frank the Prankster back. We're chasing Charlie again. Tomorrow. The day that this is being filmed is the 3rd. May, May 2nd is Cinco de Mayo special. And then May 9th is Mother's Day special. Okay, cool. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, I did, but not fully. I could have enjoyed it a lot more, but whatever. Um, good. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and deuces.